Good afternoon everybody and welcome to Craft World Live. It's very exciting for me this week because I am launching my second collection, the second textures collection exclusive to Craft Stash. We have got textures brush strokes which I am absolutely in love with. I know uh, the people who helped me design this and who helped to produce it, they loved it as well. And I have an extra special guest with me as well, who apparently she quite likes it as well. Shall we say a very quick hello before I show you everything to the lovely Lou Withers, who I've got with me today. Hello. Hello. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's. I was talking to you earlier and you said that you like the products. Oh, I love them. Really love yeah. them. Yeah really excited about that and um, we're gonna come to you i'm gonna show everything and introduce everyone um you're gonna be watching actually on craft world while we do the hour aren't we aren't you I am, yeah. yeah and i'm watching on facebook and trying to keep a track of youtube as well so welcome to everyone on all oh, three platforms um but we're going to come to you for a demonstration in a little while and you're going to watch yep. and and have a chat with me aren't you um during what so yeah, so we'll come back and see what products you're playing with in just a moment. Um, but I've got a few things to do first. Um, the most important thing for everybody to know is we are giving away £200 worth of product today. Okay, so to win this, there's going to be three winners live during this hour. Okay, we're going to choose one from each platform. These are chosen simply by commenting. That's all you need to do, nothing else. So please make sure you are tagging all of your friends to ensure that they are catching the live and they have a chance to win as well. Make sure you're commenting because that is your entry into the co into the competition, the giveaway, um, and make sure you're sharing as well. So would you like to quickly see some brush strokes? Would you like to see what I'm talking about? I'll do a quick hello to people in a moment. Come down onto my desk. I couldn't find my mouse cursor there. Come down onto my desk because I have got the products and I've also got the boards as well. So um, everyone's saying hello to Lou and Lou. Let's do a very quick hello. Sorry, uh, Marsha Maud, Serena Moore, sorry, Serena Glover, Rena Hurst, um, Sharon Lee, June Woodhouse, Carol Lewis, Diane he Hines, sorry, Christine Howard. Uh, we've got Karen Michaela, Debs. We've got so many people watching. I'm sure Lou will keep up with comments as well. Keep an eye. And we will go back and we will both comment after the live as well if there's any questions that we don't catch during. Um, like I say, please make sure you're watching and commenting to be in chance of winning that 200 share of £200 worth of product. So here is Textures Brush Strokes. Now I'm going to bring it up. Um, I've got a number of products here. The idea behind brush strokes is it's all about your arts and your crafts. For anyone who loves arty and crafty, now I know I'm talking to the right audience here. We've got um, so many artists and passionate crafters out there that watch every week. So these are for you. I haven't seen many items like this on the market and I really wanted them. I love my watercolour. I love painting. I love canvases. I love easels. Um, all of this and I wanted to incorporate it into a paper craft uh, range so brush strokes is exactly that we have first of all the art st image stamps exactly as it says on the tin they're all your images now these are a bit dirty they're mine I've been using and yours will come nice and clean these are photopolymer stamps so they are really good quality um, I made sure that these are the best quality for you they are they stamp beautifully these are all hand drawn by myself so these are hand drawn these are handwritten so you won't find these designs anywhere else and then to go with these we've also got the dies that cut them out over the top now with these dies it's extra special because this is a new concept now i'm excited about this but essentially we're not stamping and then die cutting out we're actually stamping into the die and making this an extra quick process for you without the worry about lining things up and you'll notice as well on the dies we've got little tabs okay the reason for that let me show you this there's there's just one example of a card that i've made using this particular collection these ones here they are the stamps and the dies together but now I'm wondering how I can show you this. I've got a big board. Can you see this one, this one, these and these? They're raised up. They're bent round by using those tabs. So we're shaping these elements to look as realistic as possible on your projects. So these are the stamps all stamped out. And then you've got that easel as well. 
and then you can of course do your masking and you can build up elements i love this pile of paint tubes that kind of looks a bit like my work desk at the moment from where i've just been doing some watercolor so um that's brilliant you can color those any way you want to as well so there's the first item now i've got to try and work out where to put these i'll pop them down there i'll have to get off my chair in a little while too pick them up again and then we've got the background stamps as well the brushed art background stamps so these are just going to add to that collection that you've just seen um, so here's some I've stamped them because you've got them in black there I've stamped them all in different colors so you can really see how you can build those up uh, we've got watercolor style flowers in here as well if you want to use those we've got ink splats and drips and frames and borders definitely one to pop into your basket when you're looking at the art, art shapes that we we're just looking at and there's there you go there's an example with the just the splats around and the drips and how they make something look as if it's just been painted so then we've got a stencil now i'm in love with the stencil i have to admit this is probably and i am i am biased but this is probably my favorite stencil ever that i've ever seen i just adore it it's watercolor style flowers or painted we don't have to be watercolor painted style flowers so they're called art style flowers um a gorgeous mylar stencil really really good quality as well lou you were saying you've got one of the stencils and you were pleased with the thickness of it yeah, yeah just a lot of thickness is when you get such a detailed um stencil you need something a bit more sturdy and this is really cool like that it, yeah you can give it a bit of weather give it a bit of welly a bit of your paste and your ink and all, all the rest of it so uh, rather than just doing it in one color i've just chosen lots of different colors to show you how that can be a background but alternatively here's another example for you if you use that stencil and actually create a bouquet of flowers by moving the stencil and just picking out smaller elements and with this i've used distress inks and then i've spritzed it with a bit of water to make it faded a little bit so as if it's sort of washed into each other so there's a little sneak peek as well of that easel that i'm going to be showing you in a little while so that's the floral stencil we've then got some words of course textures wouldn't be textures without some words and some text in there so we've got different varieties of this a beautiful brush lettered font these are going to work really well if you caught the fonts the letters from the last collection the reflections collection um, I'll show you actually I've got them I've got them all here so they're a really good size they're much larger than you see on the packet and what I've done I've made sure of this you have got every letter of the alphabet in there We've got amazing, love, you, wish, wedding, unique, thank, hello, forever, special, celebrate, just, and XOXO, or hugs and kisses. So by having every single letter, you can snip these and you can completely make new words in that gorgeous font rather than having to have the particular die word that you want. So there's an extra bit of versatility in those for you. And there's just an example of that word celebrate used. Um, I've layered that up three or four times on there. And that really makes that card. This in the background you'll see is that washi tape that I'm going to show you in a little while. More words for you. Now, again, we have got this as a background piece. This is a background die. It's a really big die. It cuts absolutely beautifully. And there is a stencil to match, which I'll show you. But this is, I'm seeing all the comments, everybody. I will go through them in just a moment. Um, thank you so much. So this is a background die, but because you have, again, every single letter of the alphabet there, you can snip into this and you've got an entire alphabet in die form in that gorgeous brush lettered font that you can use to create your own words again. So have a look at this board we've got. So that's cut out of one of the backing papers I'll show you. That's embossed on black with gilding wax. That is just simply white on white. And that is white on white again, but then inked this one with distress inks and a little bit of a galaxy feel. So let me show you some examples of this. So we've got the just purely black there with a couple of those art shapes there again, raised up and cut with those tabs. And then here we've got it as both. We've got it as a background. I'm hoping I can catch. Oh, you can catch the gilding wax on there in the background with distress ink all over the top. So it's got that faux embossed effect. And then I've cut the the individual letters, L-O-V-E, from the actual cut. I've cut it from glitter, cut out the individual words, built my own word as well. And you can do your own words, whatever you want, because you've got all of the letters of the alphabet. Now, backtracking a bit to one we saw earlier, and that's that clipboard. I have wanted a clipboard die for so, so long. And this is going to be perfect, Lou, for mixed media as well and for journals and things. Um, do you yeah. think you could use this within journals and all, all your home decor and things? Absolutely, and you can use it for lots of different things, like the little clip at the top. 
you can use that as index tabs as well. So there's yeah. lots of different things you can use with that. Yeah, it's really it's a nice size as well. It's really really good size that because you know it's substantial enough to use actually, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So what we've got is we've got the die that cuts out. Well, you can see on here, actually, we've got the die that cuts out the A5 board. So they'll match with your papers that I'll show you in a minute or any other paper. If you've got wood grain paper and things, we've got the die that cuts out the smaller A6 board as well with those curved edges. We've got the die that cuts out the paper, the wrinkled sort of torn edge paper there. We've got the individual die that can cut out a heart from either the board or the paper if you want it to. We have the clip as an individual as well and then we have the words and what I love is the clip works with both sizes as well and of course you could have them horizontal with the clip at the top uh, really really good fun great like I say great for making home decor signs and things here's just an example mixing lots of the elements you've seen already the stencil we haven't seen the letters yet the art icons there and of course that clipboard on there that's a get well soon card now this is really special obviously you'll know I love my I'm sorry I'm taking so long to go through this I think this is going to be a longer than an hour live but I want you to see everything in detail um this is a brush lettered font we've got uppercase and lowercase here uh, they work together beautifully and when I say beautifully they match they line up perfectly okay so I've got them both they're available individually if you just want one but I would definitely recommend looking at two so we've got the full alphabet there with your punctuation marks we've got the full alphabet in the lowercase now they might look too small to match but they don't because if we have a look here we've got the word sympathy favorite graduation Catherine textures Janice and Hochanda because I was on Hochanda before so I've got all of those words using them and hopefully if I just move in I don't know how well you can see that they line up perfectly I'm going to demonstrate this and show you how easy it is to write your own words in this really modern really popular font here's another one for you just for you there using those stamps isn't it good I love that I you know I love brush lettering anyway and handwritten fonts but to be able to write your own sentiments with no skill required is really good fun now Lou I know you've got hold of this the um the large stencil that has the alphabet on the background of course it perfectly matches the die that i was showing you i'm really excited to see what lou will do with it as well in her demonstration um with this i've just done you an example in various colors there so you can see but i have got a card here now i'm hoping you can see in the background i've actually stenciled much like this i've stenciled in various colors and then laid the matching die over the top so you can just see the the colored shadow from from that die there and I've also embossed the die in the background okay so there's uh, different ways of using that stencil that's really good fun and then we have washi tape strips now we were, we were getting a bit giddy over these earlier weren't we Lou when we were talking about them um, I was saying I'd love to give you washi tape but on a roll you get one roll you've got one design it seems like you know are you ever going to use all of that roll as well but to be able to give you all of these strips on one sheet there's 10 sheets in that pack and you get all of those designs in one. So are you using these today, Lou? I am, yeah. I'm using them in, in different ways, actually, because I've been writing on them and drawing on them, and they're brilliant for that as well. So Yeah, yeah they're a matte surface, aren't they? They're not shiny at some some tapes. So, uh, and they're, they're sort of half translucent as well. So if you're using them on a pale coloured paper, hopefully you shouldn't see them either. So really good fun, those. Lastly, I am there. We're going to get to demonstration very, very soon, everyone paper pack okay a5 there it's 180 gsm again lou's got this she was really impressed with the quality of it they're single-sided so you don't need to choose in fact i've got a board here it's just gonna be so much easier for me to show you all of the designs now we've got the wood grain okay so you can use that with your clipboard we've got this gorgeous sort of paint splash of various colors we've got the black and white painted stripes and we've got another diff different style of painting here with the i love the rainbow colors mixed with the black and white You've also got this alternative paint splash in the blue and purple. We've got the black painted hearts. We've then got the the old paper, the sort of slightly wrinkled up watercolor paper that's going to be perfect for using with your easel or with your um, clipboard. Get my words out. And then we've got this alternative splash as well. So you've got lots of variation in there. And Lou, you said there's actually something for everyone within those. Yeah, you can. I mean, Malcolm uh, Parker. Hi, hi guys. Um, he, he's just mentioned that it'd be great in a journal. I totally agree with him because if you're not confident with colour, you've already done it 
all for everybody so it will give some confidence to move on but yeah absolutely brilliant cards co collage anything brilliant could you um give us a little sneak peek of what you'll be doing in a little while for me yeah of course do you want that now yeah 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 are we right. moving down we are we're going to move down so i just wanted to be a little bit different because i normally as you know i tend to do a lot of um just grunge and stuff like that so i thought i'm going to make something that i know everybody can see mm -hmm. that they can they'll be able to do so let me just move that back for you i've got this piece of paper here lovely and i love this as it is because it look it looks to me like a like a landscape um and an overhanging garden right? okay so i'm going to use some washi tape and i'm going to use it with the waste from one of the papers now i'm going to use the papers so i've used this one and what i've done is i'm not going to tell you why i've done it but i've stamped all my oh. little paint tubes out different colors so they're like already made tubes of color mm -hmm. and i've used it on here so that what i've done is i can now all the white bits these can now be used for these so when I put oh. all them together, you'll be able to see what I'm going to do. But yeah, I'm really Brilliant. excited, and I might even stay clean. Ah. I use the washi tape on top. But yeah, I love it because you can put the washi tape back. Because I'd use yep. that really. You know, I only need a little bit every now and again like that. Mm -hmm. So. And it tears it as well, doesn't it? So you don't have to cut it. I really, and it's. Do you know what else? As well, it's sticky. Oh, it that is sticky. Soft, but it's sticky. Some washi tapes. You, you put it on and it, it curls up within a second. I've noticed that that's not. It's sticky washi tape. Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so uh, I'm going to come back to myself now because I've got a demonstration for you, but I've got a few other notes to tell you as well. Now, one thing I didn't mention, I got all excited about the giveaways. I didn't mention that if you are purchasing today, you can get 20% off. All you need to do is put in the offer code text. 20 that's at checkout at craftstash.co.uk so make sure you pop that in with your basket with any of the textures new range brush strokes range now there's also some additional items that i think will work really well with textures as well whether you're going for brush strokes or the previous reflections collection and that's embossing powders i've always loved wow embossing powders i absolutely adore them and we have got brand new colors available at the moment we've got powders trios and glitters as well so make sure you check those out there's an offer at the moment as well on magazine kits. I don't know if you've seen it, 50% off. Make sure you check that out because there's only a few more days for you to get that. And Lou, you'll be interested in this actually. Um, let me just see if I can put Lou in for a second because I haven't told you this yet. Okay, so at the moment over on Craft Stash, if you buy any selected paint, now there's a huge range to go so there's amsterdam paints in there there's uh, ranger paints as well there's all sorts you get a free ranger gel plate squeegee with any paint so i know you love your painting and mixed media and things don't you oh yeah the messier the better but that's really good yeah i love that it's yeah it really is isn't it so so there's another offer for everyone sorry lou i'll let you get get ready and watch and things i keep clicking back to her when she least Oh, she's ready <laughs> so should we come down to my to my desk for our first demonstration Lou is going to be watching she's up in the corner keeping an eye on me making sure that I'm doing everything correctly <laughs> so I've obviously got lots prepared because this first card I want to show you as many items as possible let's just pop my phone out of the way I'm trying to keep an eye on the comments I'll, I'll do more commenting and answering questions whilst Lou's demonstrating and probably vice versa now yeah. i have used first of all the easel um die uh, sorry i'm saying easel die easel stamp that we saw there now what i've done is i've put mine you do need a large stamping platform i've put mine into a large load and fold and i have dedicated this load and fold for this stamp because i've got it in there and i actually keep it in there now because i've stamped so many of these so all i've done is i've stamped onto the brown paper i've then popped in one of the a5 papers from the paper pack that's that that sort of watercolor style paper and i've gone over and stamped that okay and then i've cut the paper section out and i've cut around the frame there as well now with the frame because this is just on plain brown cardstock i'm just going to bring this to life a little bit by using a dark brown pen 
now we will put photos of everything we make up on craft stash uh, facebook page and of course on um craft world after we've finished so don't worry if you're missing any detail if you're watching on a, a phone or something that's a bit small you'll be able to see these cards in full afterwards the lovely maria is in the background and she usually posts all of these things so all i'm doing is i'm going around with my uh, brown pen here and i'm just adding in some shadows to the wood this isn't essential but i think it really brings out the grain of the wood there and helps make it look a little more textured and dimensional can and I then, ask you, Lou, is, yes. are these all hand drawn then you were saying? You've done all these? Yes, I have. Um, I've really? drawn all of them by hand. They, um, they were, uh, I absolutely adored doing them. I, I would have had about uh, 20 different styles of paint tubes and watercolour pans and all sorts if I could. But obviously there's only so many we can fit in a stamp set. So you, ne you never know, maybe we can bring out a brush strokes too at some point and I can add in all those additional um, items. Oh, yeah. It's not very often, is it, you actually see hand-drawn items as stamps no. anymore. So I think that's a really important point. We, we, It's nice to see that. I mean, absolutely. that's what gives it its unique sort of feel, isn't it? It's yeah, not definitely. a photograph, it's hand-drawn. That's what you want it to look like. Absolutely. So, so I've just gone in there. So I've got my brown for the wood grain. I don't know how well you can see that. And I've just added a silver gel pen to where the screws are on the easel to bring that forward a little bit and make those shine so then my paper I just need to line this up that way round because you'll know if you've just stamped it which way round it goes and this will glue straight over the top now there are some brilliant cards that I've seen made where people are actually using these as three-dimensional easels um mm. like i'll just show you one actually i've got one behind me here we go that's a really good idea that you know you could it could be for anybody then any generic can put the, the theme of it on absolutely definitely so you can put so here's a blank canvas for you so there's one that i've made previously you bringing in the reflections collection so these are the they're quite new reflections collection make sure you check that out as well while you're on craft stash so that's one layer of the easel there but just with the back leg and the other two snipped off and at the front i've snipped the back leg off you see so it actually stands as an actual easel which is really good fun so I that'd look nice Thank you. That would be nice as home decor, wouldn't it? Something like that. You could ch change it to suit everything, couldn't you? The season, the mood, anything. I definitely. Definitely. Now, I'm going to use one of the backing papers and I'm just going to be simple. Now, I'm not going to do matting and layering and things today. I'm going to keep this as quick as possible, though I want to show you absolutely everything. Um, and I'm going to just mat an A5 piece of the painted card stock or paper from the paper pad onto an A5 card base. As simple as that. OK, um, I'm actually going to turn this. I was going to have it that way. I'm actually going to craft as I go. I'm going to put that like that, I think. Yes, let's just go with it. I'm, I'm I making this up as I go along, Lou. That's all I ever do. <laughs> well, I, think... I, have an idea, I have a sort of idea when I start, but it never, when as you're going through it, you get a little idea. Ooh, you can do this, do this, and I go with it then. Yeah, absolutely. And then when you stand that up, it's actually got a bit of shape That's to it. Good. So you need yeah, to make an it? envelope. Now, this is this is really exciting. This is the new concept that I was talking to you about. We've got the stamps and dies that coordinate for some of the art icons. Um, but let me show you how they actually work because I've had a few messages about these. I do just need to grab yeah. them actually. Genius this. When you said this, I thought, why has no one else thought of this before? I know. And I was like, oh no, why, why? But this is what I love. You know, yeah. the idea that watching someone else you can get the inspiration. Yeah, you were oh. very excited, weren't you, Lou, when I yeah, explained I to you how it brilliant. works. So let me see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the largest of the dies, just so you can see as clearly as possible. But as you can see, I've used the brush and the paint tubes there. Um, so I need the die. You, now, you can buy the stamps on their own, of course, and you can use the stamps on their own. I showed you on that board how you can stamp, you can do your masking, you can then colour them in if stamping is your thing. Um, and the same with the dies. You could buy the dies on their own if that's what you like to do, if you prefer not to stamp. The dies, let me see if I can get the angle for you. Hopefully you can see that. There's lots of embossing lines in there, lots of detail. So you'll still get the detail embossed into your die cut if you're not a stamper. OK, so either or, there's something for everyone. But this is the exciting bit. So I'm going to put my stamp 
onto my acrylic block and I'm going to I'm going to use Versafine okay so um, ideally you want um, an ink pad that's got a little bit of solvent in it like Versafine you don't want a completely water-based ink ink for this where did I just put my die put it back on the mat now what we would usually do is we would stamp our image and then we would of course lay our die over the top okay now there's a reason these are solid dies uh, by doing that with any dies that you're then cutting out a stamped image from you can't always see the outline and Lou will know you know you've, you're moving it about thinking have I got it central what's the border like around it and things like that so what we're going to do is I appreciate you might not see this too clearly but I will do another video with a very very close-up view of this so you can really see what I'm doing I'm going to ink that stamp so hopefully now you can really see the detail in the stamp anyway and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over my die and I'm just going to drop that into the die now there's cutting blades around the edge so that stamp sits perfectly it kind of just drops in to the die itself I'm just going to press it down ever so slightly okay make sure I'm pushing some of that ink into the die now if I hold this up the ink is all sat in the die okay now if I pop this down onto my white paper just tape it down I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine no embossing mat I'm just going to run it through my big shot here as you would cut normally I need like um some magical music or something I think for the reveal you, know what? You're gonna need, you, you are going to need to stamp ink that gives you a little bit of time because it stays on will be too quick it? yeah which is why I use the Versafine yeah. and then hopefully you can see there we've got the stamped image inside of the die cut and with Genius. this yep yeah, it just works and with this you've also then got your little tabs you're just going to fold those over you can snip them off if you don't want to use the tabs don't want to use the curved effect you can snip those off really cleanly there's only a couple of them on each item so if I just curve that you can see you've got your stamped image in there you can color that of course you can color over with your favorite pens whether it's alcohol water based depending on the ink you've used of course um, but you've got your tabs on the back as well so you can just add glue to your tabs and that will sit on your project three dimensional and with that stamping in the perfect place so that is why this is a brand new concept hopefully you all like that and you have some fun with that but like I say you can certainly use the stamps and dies on their own if that's your preference okay yeah. I just want to show you how they work together so let's do some more of this card do you know I put all my items away Lou and all down here and I still need them do you know what you shouldn't clean up. I shouldn't clean Those. up because whenever I clean up, I need it all. I know. I'm terrible for it. I've got a stencil. There we go. There's my stencil. So I want to use my flower stencil now. Hello to everybody. So um, hello to Shelley Anderson. Hello to Stephanie Turbell. Um, Mo Reed. Hi. Christine Howard says hi. Lou and Lou. I think I've gone back to the beginning actually. Um, we've got load loads of comments, Lou. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cheryl says that's Christine. brilliant. Um, Marsha says you've even got the hole in the handle so you can hang them yes you can um, Louise McKay another Louise says very neat idea Lynn Clifton loves the 3d option I will go through all these comments thank you so so much everybody um, now the floral stencil I'm again I'm in love with this because you can use it all as a background or you can use it individually I think I'm talking really quickly today Lou no, you, you, no, I'm loving it. I'm just trying to answer some people and say hello and make sure I am reading them, but I'm not being read. I'm going to watch you more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you are. We'll go back and we I'm not will. I'm the people. I just want to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lou. Um, but we, we will. We'll go back and read everyone's yeah. comments at the end. There's usually hundreds and hundreds to go through. It's nice to see that some, some of the people from my group as well, that sounds, you know, but over from my group. Um, have joined us and it's great because all, yes. everyone inspires each other so new you know new ideas love it yes welcome so lovely, lovely demo this um i'm glad you enjoy it but welcome to anybody who has joined us for the first time on craft yeah. Sash, on fast fast world on craft world <laughs> or on youtube <laughs> um so i'm just going i'm just doing the green stem there and then i'm going to take another blending brush and i'm going to do a 
pink this is about as messy as I usually get now the beauty of this collection is if you love the art look but don't like to get messy like myself this is perfect you, you're not going to get messy but you're still going to get that style so just lining that up with the leaves that I've just done and I'm just I'm using a brush blender there's lots of different ones on the market I would I would probably recommend either a brush blender or the other alternative which I know we've got at craft stash at the moment in the essentials range are the small foam blenders now you can see I use these I've got one for every color um, these get into all the little gaps perfectly and you've even got the point as you I can see there them. I need them then I need to get some of that I like the look I like the look of those brushes though as well because I'm comfortable with my makeup brushes without so it'll be familiar to use them on my work as well yeah absolutely uh, it's it's sort of what you're used to isn't it um, yeah absolutely when you're crafting so yeah definitely with these uh, these get into all the little nooks and crannies that you get in a stencil as well but as do uh, they're not those. hard are they they're nice and soft you yes know, they blending, are you can blend really nicely with them i'll have to go into there and have a look <laughs> absolutely I'm loving, I'm, I'm loving the, the mix of styles we've got i'm you actually know, it's like arty but not grungy arty it's arty nice arty. it's sort of pretty I arty like sense. i know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> we know what you mean it's it's more pretty arty than messy arty yes that, that, you say it's so much better but what I love about textures, uh, when we started developing it, I say we, when I just started deciding what I wanted, I'm so used to talking about other people's ranges on yeah, these lives. Um, what we, what I started doing is saying, I want this to be open to anyone who loves mixed media as well. I don't want to limit it to just mm. uh, paper crafters. Um, so that's exactly what we've done. Let's pop one more. But we all learn so much from each other in all our genres and all our different, um, you know, avenues of craft because it all crosses over. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, I could see me doing this on fabric and stitching the easel. Oh, that would be amazing. You know, and, and doing like the the board part of it as as um, a rounded three-dimensional thing. So I could see also even stitching around the flowers. So... You, you ah. know, sometimes you just need someone to sort of mention it and then it inspires others. Yeah, you've just given me a couple of really good ideas, really new new ideas as well. Ooh, so excellent. here's the idea. Now, you can glue these down with hot glue, of course. That would be really quick for you. But I'm going to use a wet glue and just show you how I secure them. So just dabbing a little bit of glue onto the tabs. Uh, the quickest grab glue you've got in your stash is probably easiest. And then I decide where I want this to be. So I think I think I'll have this one here. And I'm I'm going to curve it. So I'm going to squeeze the edges together as I press it down. I'm just going to take my pokey tool and get in there and just make sure those tabs are stuck down. Okay, so I'm just running the point of the pokey tool along inside. There. So as I say, I will do a really close-up tutorial for everyone. That will be available uh, on probably on Craft Stash actually on the product page once I've sent it over, so you can see exactly how to do these in really close-up detail. And then I'm going to do the same with the paint tubes. Now the paint tubes actually before. So once I've coloured them with alcohol pens here, um, I scrunch them. And <laughs> some people will be like, oh, she doesn't. No, she, I do. I just scrunch them all up turn over the tabs but that just adds a little bit more to them and again just glue on the tabs this is It'd taking be nice to now a thin metal area you know aluminium foil put on cap yes and then cut the label out yeah that would so be they look like proper tubes yeah that would be really good i've actually used a pearlescent on that very first card i showed i used a pearlescent gray no a pearlescent card and then colored it in gray with an alcohol pen uh, and that was really good, actually, because that then shimmered. So a little bit like the foil that you'd get. I've done the same here. I've added some creases and some curls and things to that by scrunching it up. And then just add the glue to the tabs. They'd make great earrings. <laughs> yeah, they would, wouldn't they? I can imagine, I actually, I, I'm I'd thinking the paintbrushes from Shrink Plastic. This big paintbrush from yeah. Shrink, Shrink Plastic. Absolutely. That's what I was thinking, little shrink, shrinky palette earrings. Yeah. And key oh, rings as well yeah absolutely as somebody um, i apologize i can't remember who who said it um somebody said about using the little hole on the bottom of the paintbrush there to hang you could have a row of paintbrushes all different colors 
with all paint dripping off of them, couldn't you? Yeah. So there's I've got some really nice ideas on on the uh, page coming up, so I'll be stealing all them. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to just do drink? one more thing for this because I, I appreciate Lou. We want to see Lou demo as well because she does something so different. Don't forget you've got a chance to win um, a selection of these. We'll have three winners at the end of the hour. I say at the end of the hour. I've taken so long doing this already. Um, yeah, <laughs> but it's been lovely. It's, it's, it's real, always good fun with you, Lou. Oh, thank you. Well, it is me. I love it. So, it's like this is, this is just like... I can't meet you in person at the moment, but this is the next big thing, and I think it's the same for other people, isn't it? Oh, you definitely. Know, we're in their house with them, and we're having a craft together. It's yeah. Great. So I'm now just going to show quickly show you the alphabet um, stamps. I've just stamped one of the capital letters, and I'm going to then start with the um, lowercase. Now they are much smaller. That's because of the style of the font. And I like I prefer to do one letter at a time. And the reason for that is because you can perfectly line everything up then. Because you want the letters to actually join to look as if they've been scripted. So there's my E. I'll, sh I'll hold this up in a minute and show you close up when I've finished. Or as I do each other letter. Where's my L gone? There it is. I'm just going to do the word hello because it's nice and quick and easy. Just here, but you can write anything. You could write someone's name in this gorgeous font. So what I'm now going to do is I'm just going to very slightly overlap the L with the end of the E. Now, if I hold that up, can you see that's just cat caught it? And I'm going to do the same with the end of the last L onto the body of this one. Make sure I've got enough ink on there. Obviously, if uh, you're sent. Jane said, "How does she enter the competition?" And it's just a comment, isn't it? Absolutely, you've done it, Jane. You've commented, so you are in it to win it as such. Okay. Well, sorry to interrupt. She was just asking, and I thought maybe others needed to know. Absolutely, definitely. All you need to do is comment, and you'll be in with a chance. We will pick winners from all three platforms. That's Craft World from Facebook Craft Stash page, and of course from YouTube as well. If you're watching in a group or something, just pop over to the main Craft Stash page so we see your comment make sure you see it on there so there you go I've just joined those letters up by using the stamps individually and it looks like one long stamp now you can spell absolutely anyone's name um, any place uh, any word you might have a nickname for somebody or a word that you all sort of say that nobody else knows you'd never find it in dial stamp form um, but you can put that together and really personalize things in that gorgeous font I think Lou I think <laughs> I think I am now ready to let you, you take over and actually do some demonstrating. Is that okay? Yeah. That's Shall I just remind people of all the... Thank you. Uh, shall I remind people of all the offers while you just switch your cameras around and do what you need to do there? Um, so we have got 20% off of my new textures brush strokes range today. All you need to use is the code text. 20 in at checkout at craftstash.co.uk we have also got brand new wow embossing powders in and we still have 50 percent off of those magazine kits on craft stash as well and there's only a few more days left for that uh, while lou is just getting ready i need to remind you of something actually we've been ho hosting free craft longs for you on wednesdays throughout lockdown to keep you crafting through lockdown while we can't get together with our friends and craft but this week coming up, so next week on the 3rd of February, it is the turn of Helen Griffin, of course, the designer of Simply Made Crafts. So she's going to be doing, I think, some sort of Valentine's themed project. So make sure you join her at 2 p.m. for that free craft along. That is going to be on the Craft Stash Facebook page and, of course, over at Craft World as well. Are you ready for us, Lou? I'm all ready. She's all ready, I'm yes. Ready. I'm not ready. But Take no, it away. I'll tr I'll read some comments and I'll try not to interrupt too much. No, no, please do, please do, because I'm quite happy doing that. What I've done is I have got the um, the paper and I'm thinking, hmm, do I need this? Do I want that? But basically, what I'm going to do is my art house art, not heart art, but you can say either. And this piece I really love because like that, it's. If I look at it like that, it's sunny morning and, you know, it's evening, whatever, it's a skyline. And again, with that, it's almost like overhanging, you know, foliage. So I really like the idea. And I thought, I want a she shed. I want somewhere that I can go <laughs> craft with. So I was looking at this and I was thinking, well, how would I do it? What would I do? And then I thought, oh, I know. 
it could be all art related so there's some great paintbrushes here and pencils and oh no paintbrushes sorry and a pen so i thought i could get my she shed out of this now you could choose either one because they're similar sizes you could just choose whichever one you want and i'm just going to basically really simply using um a, not a strong these stamps are really good they've got a lot of stick a lot of uh, stick yeah they're photopolymer stamps absolutely brilliant now i'm using it on my ruler only because it's easier for me to use it but, and i just think it works i can hold it better because my yeah. hands aren't working too well today so what i'm going to do is i'm going to point it that way and then okay. i'm going to do another one maybe that way i like <laughs> where this is going because i know you've you've given yeah. me a little hint and i've just realized what you're doing and oh I'm so excited I've not seen anything like this before so in, rather than me because I've noticed a lot of people forget we try and turn our hands around just turn the papers around yeah. I know it's daffing to say but a lot of people we make it really hard for ourselves and all we have to do is just move things around so somebody asked me that and I was like just turn your paper yeah I know it took me years to think about it but that's it's just so simple little tricks like that so I've got the house now what you can do is if you want to, I was thinking of ways of building this up. So you could take this and just mask off um, an area. So say you wanted like over here, just move it out of the way there. Not Look at all those paint tape. tubes. <laughs> I know, I know, I was messing them out, I loved it. So like the little bit I've got left, I could always mask that off. So I've got, you know, another item as well, which, you know, that could be for the ward, the door, anything like that. So don't, just think about it being a stamp. Think about uh, putting areas, um, masking areas and things like that and creating another piece with it. I'm using a Versaclair because it's um, a really nice sort of size and a really nice juicy one, this one. And I think it works really well with these wonderful papers. It's nice and bright and it goes really lovely on this and the washi tape. So I've got the paint brushes and I'm just going to take it off the stamp and I'm going to go that way and then stamp it again, turn it around and meet it up. So I've got the double brush at the top. Oh, that's so clever. And, uh, and my door there. Now, it's, it's only a quick one, this. But I'm open, open and open that I can get clean, stay clean. So all I'm going to do is very quickly, I'm going to have this as my shed. Now what you can do is put all sorts here. You could have memories in this. It could be a little photo frame. It could be a to-do list, it, anything. Um, and it's just a nice way. It could be a birthday, a special birthday. It's like welcome to the home, mm -hmm. anything. Yeah, it could be, couldn't it? Brilliant. Yeah, and you don't have I... to just think of it as being one thing. You just ad adapt it in any way you want. Now, these bits, don't throw them out because if you want to make... Let me get rid of that because I know I'll dirty everything. Uh... I know if I want to make a street, I could put my street lettering on that as well. Ah, so, yeah. What I've got is my little house here. Oh, I love that. That's adorable. So, you can leave it as high as you want or take it anyway like that I, I quite like it a little bit lower and when I glue it down like that I'm, I'm gluing first um, and then chopping it all off later but all these little bits are found they're such good quality paper that I'm stamping on them and using them because then I know that everything mm -hmm. is the same sort of thickness weight anything you know so yeah these, it's really important that you don't waste it because it is good really nice paper right so mm. this is what I love I got the paper and I got the uh, the coloured one similar to this. Couldn't be any of them. And I got the paint tube and I, I just went for it. And basically I fitted it in all the colours that I needed. Wow. So this could be a cool one. And I got the little one as well and I went oh for leather with that all up and down. Mm -hmm. So what I eventually got, you could do it in anything you wanted, but I got it in these colours, so I got a whole rainbow and some of them I didn't want to waste the paper so it was a bit missing and that's the bit where I've made different heights so this this is going to be my little fence so I'm going to glue the first bits down so I'm going to have 
little bits. Now, if you miss a bit of paint, uh, you know, stamp or anything, it doesn't matter on this. It's so forgiving. And just pop them in a different heights, leave a little bit of a gap, and then just uh, don't think about it, do it. Just stick them on. Mm -hmm. Because the more you think about it, the less sort of arty and and, and sort of free it looks too contrived. Because random is difficult to do, I must admit. So I'm just going to... The little ones I'm just going to put in front. These are great. They're really good, really, really good um, size tube paints, these. Really like them because it's they're just the right size for sort of making into other things like the shrink plastic and stuff. Yeah. Right, so I've added that there, but I want it to be a little bit more 3D. So I've cut some more. Now, that's what it looks like before I cut it. So it's really easy. Oh, my just suggestion is when you're cutting anything, I'm not a fussy cutter, but I always have a little tab that you can hold because people, you know, it, it's difficult enough. And if you, your hands aren't working very well, like mine, not today, you need something that you can swing around as you cut. Yes. So you're not trying to you know bend down and mm -hmm. move your arms and your elbow and you're just using that little tab and then it's that easy to cut out that easy but some of these that one for instance i didn't stamp it correct at the bottom but i just took it off and then i've got a different size so i've got that there and i've got some 3d foam pads now and all i'm going to do is the smaller ones i'm going to place at the front but a little bit um, sort of higgle, higgledy piggledy so it's going to be a fence but an artist fence it's going to be where we live yes definitely we, this uh, is my uh, holiday uh, home garden. this is this is our she shed with a garden <laughs> and um because i've got a friend carolyn and she's got an amazing she shed and she? i'm trying my best to hopefully annoy my other half enough so that he'll want me to get me one very jealous get me out of the house <laughs> right so i'm not going to do too many but i just wanted to show you the overall effect i love that of how versatile it is by not thinking oh well it's just an easel oh well it's just it's not it's anything you want and oh, then absolutely. you just keep carrying on especially if you've got someone mentioned it uh, a bit of um what's it called the, you know the glaze you could glaze on these and make some of them glossy and some of them dull or matte I don't yep. like that word though. Yeah. It doesn't. No, matte. Matte. Definitely matte. Matte is better. But, Can I. Um... Gives it the wrong. Sorry, I spoke yeah. over you then. Could I just say hello to a few people on YouTube? I don't often get to pop over and speak to people live on here while I'm demonstrating things. So, um, hello to, we've got Pamela Dashwood. We've got Elaine Prendergast, sorry. We've got Christine Davis. Um, we've got, who else have we got on here? Um, Pooja, uh, B&D Crafts and more. We've got... Uh, let me scroll down sounded rain karen hemming you've loads and loads of comments you're chatting amongst yourselves as well we've got marie bland we've got nessa bridge um i did see on there we had marta as well isabel Lindsay. so thank you all for watching i'll try and get over and um read more comments out from youtube when i can so i'm um, really excited because there's people watching from everywhere <laughs> It's brilliant that, isn't it? And, and I like the fact that, you know, like I said before, we're bringing our, our own people, you know, people into it new or people who are sort of new to crafting as well so mm. and new to the group. So I think it's great in all ways, really. I'm just going to add that there, like that's the little uh, creative street. And then I put Inspiration House. Now, I think you could do a, lot, a little bit more with this. You wouldn't, you know, you could put it on that and have it hanging from... Um, like a tube of paint at the top and I think it'd be quite nice but yeah or you could just have it at slant and you know, it's entirely up to you but I have used the washi tape underneath so what I did Brilliant. was I got a spare piece of paper mm -hmm. um well this is a little bit of the off cut and I just wrapped a piece of washi tape now you've got lots to choose from I actually used this one and I'll just show you how easy it is to do and the nice thing is it cuts a nice straight line for you as well when yes. you cut yeah you can cut to the line so just put your washi down and it's really nice to use mm -hmm. and even though it is transparent or translucent sorry it's not transparent um you can still it still covers really well and then cut to the size that you want and it's all straight um and then 
it's so easy to just write on so mm -hmm. that's how I did all these little signs and that's just thickened it up and I've not wasted any paper but I did use Fantastic. the front and back pages from that so I'm just going to put that there and I think you know if I had a bit more time or you know not a bit more time I think mm -hmm. that's wrong what I mean is if we sat at home and yep. I was really going for it I could spend time like getting the oh getting the washi tape off this oh do you know what I'm trying to get it off the wrong side <laughs> <laughs> there is an uh, an, an adhesive, uh, sorry, an adhesive, like an, an acetate backing, and I found that's really handy to keep those because if you want to do masking, yes. it's a very thin acetate, so you can do when you do your mask stamping and things, it's handy for that. It is really, and that, that was the first thing I thought. Oh, that's nice. Um, so I put that there, and what you can do is just you've got a very you know the thick one that's got the flowers on it mm -hmm. you don't have to use that but you could use that for the door or you could use this for the door and you can you know you just build it up any way you want you don't have to do any of this it's just ideas that um that you can sort of even layer up the, the how amazing area. would this card be to okay. give to a crafty friend well it could be a really great journal page this yeah because you know if you wanted to stick the paper in the background mm -hmm. of your journal page and then stick these on and i just think that's quite i love that i really love and i'd have, I maybe put your words there and you could put very faintly in the background the stencil uh, but i didn't want to sort of like go too mad i quite like it like that but the stencil if you didn't have this at the top and bottom and you was using plain if you put the stencil in variegated colors i think it'd be great but that's my house where i want to live definitely I, I want to be there have my feature. That's, i love that that's so cool it's, it's brilliant <laughs> isn't it it's fantastic thank you so much for that are you still going <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah. I'm finished now. That's I don't, you, you, you started placing it. things. I thought, I don't I don't want to cut her off if she's not finished yet. Uh, thank no, you. Well thank you so, so much. We're going to pop over to, back to, well, back to me now. But, Lou, you're going to be in the corner in a minute. I've got one very, very quick demonstration because I really want to just show you that clipboard. Uh, but don't forget, you've got a couple of minutes left uh, to comment. Whether you're on YouTube, Craft World, or, of course, the Craft Sesh Facebook page, Drop us a comment. Make sure, just say hello. That's all you need to say. And you are in with a chance of winning. The lovely Maria will be picking winners in just a moment. So be very, very quick with your typing. Um, shall we come down? I've got a few more offers and things to read out to you, which I'll be doing. So bear with me. I'm just hitting the wrong buttons there. There we go. There we go. So now the easel, this, uh, sorry, not the easel, the clipboard. This is really, really simple. It's a very quick card. I've got everything cut out already. I'm just going to cut the one die because whenever I look at panel dies, I always think, is it going to cut? Now, you know what I mean uh, with panel dies. Lou will agree with me as well. You always think, how well is that going to cut when you're doing such a big piece at once? So I'm just going to run this through. I've got my, my little big shop. I say my little one. It's the normal size one. The... Uh, it's just the big shot, isn't it? It hasn't got a name, this one. It's not It's not the plus. Okay, so it's like the a, A5 roughly size platform. And just run that through just so you can all see how well this cuts. There we go. Okay, and you can then clearly see what this die looks like as well. Let's take that washi off. It's not washi, sorry. Repositionable tape. Now, we've already got a fantastic stencil there, and that is then the negative to the stencil um, that you've got included in the collection. If anyone is just joining us today, we're actually launching the brand new Textures Brush Strokes collection. Everything is available on craftstash.co.uk with 20% off using the code TEXT20. So make sure you take advantage of that. That is only available until, I think it's the 5th, is the 5th next Friday? I want to say the 5th maybe. I think it's Friday. It's definitely the 5th of February anyway um, at midnight. So that's how that die comes out. Now, just that on there looks really cool, doesn't it? It's a gorgeous, gorgeous die. But what I've actually done is I've taken a few letters from here and I've just uh, snipped them out very, very easily. Got my fussy cutting scissors. So let's have a look. There's a Q there, for example, and I've just snipped 
each letter out individually. And I have actually kept the remaining piece as well. So I've got the words. Let me see. Let me just build this clipboard up for you and then I can put the words on. So I've got my wood. wood. Yeah, go on. Um, someone, somebody's asked um, what size machine will your dies work with? So the biggest die is actually this clipboard die and this is A5 is exactly so if you if you can fit an A5 piece of paper or cardstock through go. your machine then the die will go through it is almost exactly A5 this one as you can see it's just fit on an A5 card base okay yeah so that's the largest thank one you. no thank you so then I've cut one of the backing papers uh, from the paper die that comes with the clipboard I'm just putting that out. now of course you can uh, ink the edges and things I'm, I'm conscious that we're sort of getting really close to the end of the hour now I'm just going to glue this down now what I like to do with this actually where's my foam tape I'll put a little bit of glue on the bottom of the clip there I've got really bright lights in the studio so I know sometimes it shines and then I've got that is sticky a little bit of foam tape just to pop on the top of the clip and what this is going to do is give it a little bit of an angle now there's score lines on the clip as well I loved your idea Lou of using this as like a uh, in your journals or uh, or any of your journals and diaries and things especially in shrink plastic because yeah, it makes it really sturdy then that'd be brilliant wouldn't it so I'm just pressing the bottom down with the wet glue and then I've got the foam tape underneath here. So that's just lifted that up and giving it, giving it a bit of shape. I'm actually doing a horizontal um, clipboard. I keep wanting to say easel because it's a little bit different. Now the word dies that we've got, that I was telling you about, we've got all the letters of the alphabet in amongst those um, words. So you can use the word thank in full. And then I needed the word, oh, no, it wasn't, sorry, just. So it's, I'm going to say just a note. So I've got the word just, and then I'm going to take the letter A from the middle of the thank, and that will tie you in with... That work, you know, Lou. You could make, you know those little pegs you get for the cards at Christmas? Oh, yes, yes. You know, for a card. If you put one on each side of your little um, hanger at the top, it would work. Ah, yes. As an actual clip. It would, wouldn't it? See, yeah. this is why we have Lou here. All of these different ideas. So I'm oh, just going to line up. I bet someone else has thought it. <laughs> Sorry, say that again. I bet someone else has already thought of it. It's just that when you go along, you think, ah, you can do that. Ah, you can do that. Yeah, you do, don't you? So I'm just popping. I've got the word just. I'm going to fit the little word A in the middle there. Just a, and it's then got a these. A lot of love for this work. A lot of love. They're all set out. Lot of, lots of people. Karen says, Lou, you've designed an, an amazing um, set. Um, June says, the versatility of the letters are great. The peg idea is a good one. Thank you for that. I feel better now. <laughs> <laughs> but you're getting lots of love for that, Lou. You're getting lots and lots of love for this collection. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you, Lou, for taking your time to spend it with me today and have a play and co-host with oh, me love it there we go look so i've just mixed those letters that i've cut from this i mean it's intended to be a background die but actually i've just snipped them out you've got a full alphabet set there for a really amazing price i mean usually your alphabet die sets are a lot more and one last thing i want to do to that i'm going to have to just skip down because i've still got all my things down here that i haven't picked everything up from yet bear with me it's under here somewhere that's what I wanted. I that well, I put everything on the floor, all my boards and things, while I was showing them and haven't picked them all up. Just to finish this off, a few little RT prints around the black letters to make it look as if it's been painted on and we've got a little bit of splattering going on around. That's a really cool idea, that. It, yeah, it makes people want to touch your card or you it know, does. look at it because you're, you're, in, you're inviting them to, well, you create texture absolutely and my favorite bit of this whole stamp set i think is the drips so the little drips so i'm just going to use those um have i got a bit of tissue i did have didn't i lou yeah. i've got to find a tissue you had a really good idea about adding uh, glossy accents um yes. to the drips oh. oh you could even use uh, bits of paint and then paint over them or 
bits of glue with paint. Yeah. Loads of ideas, but that initial one's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Oh, don't forget, everybody, speaking of paint, um, we have got an amazing offer at Craft Stash at the moment. Um, where if you buy any of the selected paints, you'll get a free range of gel paint squeegee. Now, if you go onto the homepage of craftstash.co.uk, there'll be an offer board there. So you can click on that and you can see everything within that offer. Uh, I've just masked off one of one of the uh, little uh, ink drips there just to make sure that I'm only getting the two that I want. So it's just a little bit of washi tape there. That's what I use my washi tape designs for that I'm not likely to use on a project. I use them like that and I'm just going to hang these drips off of this note there so they're just coming off of there there we go so it looks that's as if really... it's just so that's a very very quick card thrown together there obviously you've got very pretty ones you've got very arty ones you've got mixed media and journal pages and things like Lou's done was absolutely amazing um Lou I'm just going to come to you quickly so we can say goodbye to you because actually no I'm going to come to you I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to come to you, and we're going to oh, we're going to read out some names because we've got some winners to announce. Hey, brilliant! You mustn't go we yet. We had a really nice comment from Linda, and she says you used to make a great duo. Uh, uh, and Lou and Lou. This demo was these demos have really brightened her day. What a nice thing to say! Ah, oh, that is lovely. Thank That's you so lovely. much. Yeah. Who was that? Sorry. That was from Linda Howland. Linda. So thank you, Linda. Thank you. Yeah, that's lovely. It's lovely to hear that. So um, we have got, first of all, from Facebook, winning a selection of the new Brushstrokes collection is Malcolm Parker. Hey, um, I know there Malcolm. we go. Yes, yes, you know him, do you? Brilliant. Yeah, I know Malcolm. He's, he's a regular on my group. So well done, Malcolm. <laughs> okay, the next one. Now, this is one. I'm awful at pronouncing names. Absolutely terrible. I always say it. Uh, this is from YouTube. Maria's laughing at me now for picking names that I can't pronounce, but it is completely random, so we can't help that. Um, the name is Vigstes Creates. It could be pronounced completely differently, but you'll know who you are on YouTube. And <laughs> congratulations to you. And lastly, from Craft World, this will most likely be a hand or an at and this word, and it is Lainey. Congratulations to you. So you've all won some of the new Brushstrokes collections. Um, a massive, massive thank you to you, Lou, for joining me. It's been amazing. It's been so much fun. And the hour, hang on, the hour and three minutes has flown past. I've loved it. I've loved yeah. every minute of it. I've enjoyed watching you. Thank been you. been inspired, and it's good to see all the people here and you know the comments is lovely thank you likewise we've all been inspired by your little she she shed your little arty house that's definitely going to be my holiday home now i'm going there save up <laughs> thank for you it. We will... I'll, have, I'll have to save up for it in my garden i think absolutely De definitely or build one out of paintbrushes and things <laughs> and that would be so cool but, it would yeah. be yeah. In this weather, I might need more than a bit of paintbrushes, so, so. I think so. <laughs> but yeah, it's been wonderful. I've really enjoyed it. Thanks for having me. I hope you invite me again sometime. Of course we will. Absolutely. Um, we'll see you soon. So thank you. Bye. I know. <laughs> I just clicked her off just as she was waving there. Uh, she's still with us in the background, so she can still sit, hear me say goodbye to everybody. But a few more things for you to uh, take a note of. Don't forget, on Wednesday next week at 2 p.m., Helen Griffin is doing a free craft along. All you need to do is go over and join craftworld.com to watch over there, or you can watch on the um, Facebook page, uh, crafts under the Craft Stash page as well. We'll be there too. So join her. Now, that I believe that's a Valentine's Day project. So it's perfect this time of year. Have you even thought of Valentine's Day yet? Because I know I haven't. I need to say a massive thank you to everybody. If you are purchasing, please make sure you remember that code, TEXT20, to get your 20% off. And don't forget all those other offers I've mentioned as well. So we've got those new WOW embossing powders in that are really fun. They're going to work so well with these. You've also got, of course, the 50% off the magazine kits. And then you've also got that free squeegee when you buy the selected paints so all amazing offers there's lots going on on craft world and of course on craft stash over the weekend ensure you are signed up to the emails for these because you don't want to miss out we have some amazing offers giveaways freebies things like that i mean last week they were giving five pound off of collections and there was no minimum spend so that's just a free five pound of product so make sure you are signed up to the emails for things like that and i will see you next week of course tuesday